Good evening, viewers, and welcome to Calypso Showcase. Tonight, we look at the birth of our national instrument, the pan. And to help us do that, we have two pan pioneers in our studio tonight, Carlton Ziggity Constantine, Constantine and Kendolf Koki Mason. These two men have gone through the struggle of pan together. And in fact, we are very fortunate to have them here alive with us today when you listen to some of the encounters they had in the early days. Gentlemen, welcome to Calypso Showcase. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, Ziggy Lee, let me start with you. What's life like today? Where, you, where do you hang out? What do you do for a living? Well, I, I'm in England, <coughs> still, still playing pan, you know, mm -hmm. and surviving. You, know. you make a, a living off of pan? Well, I have to because I'm here. What's the reception like in London? Oh, to me, the people, the people in England appreciate the steel band. I think plenty more than the people in this country. Because they know, they know what a pan is like, you know. And some people here just born and meet it and they just accept it as something, you know, like, it's just, you know. But in England, when we like, um, when you see we go to play <coughs> on a gig or something like that, and they have like some trade agents there. Well, it's boiling all the time. From the time we come on the stage, you know, we have to keep, we have to keep the show lively, you know. Mm -hmm. Give everybody, give, get every, give everybody a turn on, you know, you turn on that crowd, then they play music to suit the, the European, then back to, back to home again, you know, sort of, you mix it. Mix it? Yeah. A cookie, what's life like for you these days? What do you do? Well, I don't work, I resign. I resigned in 89, or for the port. So, I do nothing at all, and I don't intend to work again at all for nobody. Well, what's your involvement in, say, Carnival? Well, I am a mass man from the time I know myself also, because my mother used to disguise me from small. From the time I grew up and I get to manhood, I play in mass all the way up to this year. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to probably share with our viewers um, the type of mass that Koki plays. Um, it's hard to believe that someone like you still making the authentic mass that was played many, many years ago, the dragon. Yes, I played dragon. And perhaps at some point we can show our viewers, oh, there it is now, this, there, you, there you are. And um, we'll probably take a view of the headpiece that you used. There it is. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's supposed to be a King Lucifer headpiece. You don't get them anymore. You don't get them anymore. What does it take to make something like that? Well, that is mud, starch, and paper. How long did Paint. it take you to put that together? Well, you put that together in a long about four or five days, according to the weather. Mm -hmm. And how, long, how old is that particular headpiece? That will be 15 years. 15 years? 15 years. 15 years. Fantastic. You know, Ziggy Lee, the, the name Ziggy itself are names like Gold Teeth, Oscar Pyle, Fisheye, to many Trinidadians. It's a name that, that, that sends shivers through you, fear. Where did you get the name Ziggy Lee? Well, I get that, I get that from a boy um, that's right in Bar Street. We had um, the trolley. And that trolley, what we had, we decided we'll make a garage. I think, I think Curl, Curl Francis, his two brothers, Curl Francis, George, George George and something, but these two brothers, they open a garage for trolley, and they call it Ziggly, Ziggly Taxi Garage. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, my trolley is the first one that gets a bobbin went, so I had to take it inside here, <laughs> and that name remained with me, you know, because of the garage of Ziggly, Ziggly. Well, what we want to do tonight is really look at the birth of Pan. When did it all begin? You know, this is a burning issue with a lot of people. We, we, uh, we suspect that there was some transition from Tambu Bamboo to Pan, but we want to know how did it all begin. And these two Pan pioneers chatted with me earlier, talking about where this all began. We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll look at the birth of Pan.
three more kilometers out in time. Who brought up the great job? Welcome back to Calypso Showcase, where we are looking <coughs> at the birth of Pan, and we have two illustrious uh, gentlemen here tonight to help us look at it, Carlton Ziggly Constantine and Kendolf Cookie Mason. And it would have been very interesting for you, the viewers, to, to hear the, the, the conversation that went on during that last commercial break as these two men were, were trading notes. What's interesting, too, is that we had separate interviews with these two guys over the weekend. And we've put together this pre-edited video, which we'd like you to look at now. And feel free to call us in later and ask them questions or perhaps add to the, in, the information that we are seeking tonight. Here we look at the birth of Pan. <laughs> People, the birth of Pan is a mystery. Can you shed some light for us about this tambo bamboo biscuit drum and the early days of Pan? What do you remember? Well, what I could remember, I, I could remember the, um, I could remember the, the changing from from bamboo to to steel. It's a pity I couldn't get like some company, some firm. To, because that, that is something I was I always would have liked to do, that people could see from bamboo how into pan. Because that formation, that only take about, what is so, about a month. Everything, you see, from bamboo, it went straight to pan. Mm -hmm. Because as um, we had the bamboo band, the, the boom, doi doi, doi doi, you know? A biscuit drum was there. This biscuit drum, it had a better tone. It was easier to carry. It had more volume. So the bamboo boom paid the cake. Out he went. <laughs> <coughs> and this... Overnight? <coughs> yes. It, just, it, it was just better because you could in, in set arm. Um, because the, 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 the bamboo base, when you're drinking and you forget, is your own toe used to pay the cake in. You, you know, do it, do it, do it, do it, and then it fall on your own toe, you know what, when this biscuit drum come, that was something we get more tone, more volume, more safer, so out went, that, out went the boom. Mm -hmm. Since the boom was there, well, we still had the cutter and the foley. A guy came on the biscuit drum itself, and he started to, ta you know, ta 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 it had more volume, out went the cutter mm -hmm. and the foley. The gin bottle, well, he stayed there for a little while till when a, a guy come with a piece of iron, and out he went. And then, from there, the whole thing start. Tell me about the, the, the structure of a tambo bamboo band. What did you see and what did you well, hear? Well, the structure of a, of a bamboo band, you really go and cut bamboo and dry it. You cut it to size. It have cutter, which you beat hold it and you, you knock it with a stick and you beat it. Then it have the base, that is the long bamboo. Then it have the tumbas, it's two. They used to use gin bottle and angle iron in those days, as the iron come like that. 
and the beaches like that. Mm -hmm. Where that. was this Tambo Bambu band located? Well, Tambo Bambu was located in Gonzales. At the time, the whole place was Gonzales. They had no name of street in those days. They didn't have no name of street in those days. The transition from Tambo Bambu to Biscuit Drum, how do you remember that happening? Well, I remember Tambo Bambu to Biscuit Drum. From the time Gonzales, which is Delhi's own, turned over. They turned straight. It wasn't Biscuit Drum at the time. It was cement drum. It had no notes in the pan. You just cut a cement drum and you strap it around you and you beat it with a broomstick. You cut the broomstick and beat it. So you used to get a loud noise. Just rhythm alone. That rhythm alone. Then biscuit drum come. Mm -hmm. Because when you used to, when you used to have that pan, you still used to have tambo bamboo with it. At the same time. At the same time. What 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 kind of uh, what what era, what year were we talking about? Well the year roughly, yeah. The year I speaking about, eh? When I tell you, I came up here about a year. So I was around about five years. So that is, I will pass a senior citizen. Mm -hmm. That's over 60 odd years. Speaking about. We're so talking 1933, 1934? All, 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 mm -hmm. This biscuit drum, when the biscuit drum came in, what happened to change the biscuit drum to, let us say, the first tuned instrument as we know it? Well, it, we had, um, it had, it had a competition, a band from somewhere in the West did win. And they came with some tune booms. What was really, because that was new. That, you know, that was new because we accept the biscuit drum for the bass it used, it used to have. But then the, the tune, I think it was a Castian. It's a band somewhere from Woodbrook, yes? Not too far from a store, somewhere around that side. They come with a, with a bass tune. That, that was something else because like, um, Everybody wanted that because that was something that was definitely something new and nice. But then it, it didn't um, it didn't hold on too long because um, the biscuit drum the metal was very fine mm -hmm. and um, you know it was easy to shoot. You understand? But then afterward they changed it and they bring what what we call like a quattro, which carry the same range as that. But the quattro could take more licks. The biscuit drum was sweeter. You know. Right. Now you had to play that. Because it have a, it have something I'd like the, the, the players to know about Steve. We got beaters and players. <laughs> now a player will just take a pan and when he playing with the pan, he just he move, and a beater will just beat it. Well, the tune boom, the players, they used to excel because it had a time um, a band from down the west to, I think it was Sun Valley, with a guy named Adawell and these guys and these guys started to, to play this tune, to play this tune. That was something else. But I don't think it didn't last too long. You know, because I noticed the first pans were convex in shape rather than concave as we know it today. I mean, like this. Yeah, pushed out. Now, this, this, this is something very important, uh, guys. You get the pan outside, so you got nothing. Now, if you take a, if you take a pan and you pong it out like this, and you take a hammer, and you put an X, that you four spot where you want a note, you know? And you take a hammer, bam! You would get a, you would get a song there. Mm -hmm. you, you would get an X song there. You would get an X, You'll get four different songs. Now with the four different songs, what you get, you have to create a melody. Because in no way in these days, when you're playing that pan, you could hear something on a record. No, no you have to create. Mm -hmm. Afterward, when it's in and it become chromatic, you could hear tunes playing, and then but no way in that. Nobody day. knew what those four notes were, really. No. You hope you get four of the very best. <laughs> well, you, you didn't, you're looking for four notes. Mm -hmm. You know, you will sit down there, like, you might be a player as well. Me. Same thing I do, I get four notes. You will do the same, but we, we, we don't blend up at all. So it, it reached now a race with most notes. Yeah. That was the thing because the young man. Who said, could get more notes on a pan? More notes on a pan. Well, you know, it, it's just most notes. I get, I get, I get, I get four. Everybody looked like they was using four. I see, I think I see. I can't remember who it is. Because when I, when I pass somewhere down by Heliad, is that a Jules Fisher or Markov? I see they had five. I went home, back on the drawing board, and I get six. Mm -hmm. And when I get the six, I push that below the bed because I thought I had something. And he was lucky, I make about two days, and it was rubbish because like, <laughs> I had to bring it out and uh, doing, but I couldn't get a chance to boast about this. this, this so somebody got the seven. They got the seven, and, uh, and it, it, it was going. It had a certain time, it reached about eight or nine notes, and nobody had a scale, you know. 
Nobody had a scale. Not, nobody had a scale. We didn't know. Um, when it comes musical, people start looking for scale. But we are only looking for most because uh, we like rival. You got seven on your boats, and I said, get away with that rubbish. Here. I come with an eight. And as I tell you, my man, my, my son said, we're talking about eight. We are only looking. But then afterwards, when it went in, the next way, no, you, you, um, you, de you definitely have to give um, down the West a lot, of, a lot of credit, you know, for their contribution. Well, the development of pan instrument, eh, it had sufferation. Plenty, plenty sufferation to develop pan. Because when you play pan long ago, your daughter can speak to me. When you sing Kaiso, it was the same thing. So the men that suffer for pan, men like Zig, myself, Batman, Ozzy Barker, Oscar to the pilot, Big Cook, Lay Cook, this boy Joseph, what they call Piggy. These are the men that suffer for pan, to bring pan as it is. And right now we get nothing. Mm -hmm. We get nothing. Men like Fish Eye, Birdie. You see, we get nothing. Well, we had to bring pan because the news was riot. We thief pan. And the three men that I know responsible for pan in the foot is Albert Gums, O'Connor, and APT James. Because when they lock me up in them time, they used to go to the station and order them to let us go. development where we go from three note to four note up to eight notes well how, I, how long that took more or less well uh, to me i believe it's fishai which is rudolph his name olivieri he is the man that i know responsible for putting notes on pan when i say notes i mean plenty notes mm -hmm. we used to lie in the river we used to lie in the river that is the river yeah that is before i talking before spring you mm -hmm. understand? Yeah. We still lie there. And fish eye, he pushed the pan up. Yeah, what we and call Ellie, pan kill. Yeah, Ellie is the man. Convex. Ellie is the man that pushed it down. Mm -hmm. So he got more notes than fish eye. Fish eye could have got all around six, seven notes. Mm -hmm. You see, in them time, we ignore the fact. We really you know what we're doing. We're just shooting in the Which dark. As well, that's what I mean. In terms of playing a recognized melody, and a lot of people again try to pinpoint this, what are your, what is your own opinion about this playing a recognized melody on pan? Well, I, 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 I was dissatisfied with it too because, like Spree, the claim played the first recognized tune, but we, you know, it had a little, give me a little water, please, to quench my thirst. Now, the basic, the basic beat for Steel Band was this. Give me a little water, please. To come with it. Now, as he created a thing, people used to put lyrics in. Mm -hmm. Because, you know. The melody came first, then you put words in. <coughs> yes, because, you know, because. And when. And the whole band depends. When he can't stop, you know, because he's killing the band, mm -hmm. you know. People we, 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 go back, we, 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 you know, no, no, play the thing, play, man. That, thing play, play that, play that thing, and then lyrics come in. Um, Alan Ladd, this gun for hire. Very, 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 la la di, la da di, Alan Ladd, this gun for hire. You understand mm. this thing? And people, melodies only creating. They keep creating melodies and melodies. So when um, they said they, they give Spree this um, award for the first recognized melody, well, a lot of we are feeling sad because we, we had melodies there too. Mm -hmm. What we create. On your own? Yes. But was not accepted because they, they rather that um, melody, but, um, but then you have a lot of controversies because, like, I, I just say, this, the, the, what I heard Spree play was, I am a warrior. Mm -hmm. But then I was listening to other people say it was, diff it was a lot of different Some people things. people said they would play, Mary had a little lamb. Well, oh, well, God oh, save oh, the king. Oh, oh, uh, no, and I, and I uh, um, God save the king was heavy. But I hear, I hear Mary had a little lamb. 
Give me a little water, please, to quench bitters, you know, as, yeah. as they're playing, and they're playing, people hear something, play, and they're just adding words. We had, um, the same year, we had a little, um, um, well, the first, the first time that I know that is tuned, we took it down Observatory Street. It was a green pan with yellow Vaseline in it. And the man that beat that pan was Fred Corbin. You read River Vine Cavalli on it. River Vine? River Vine Cavalli. Do you remember how that go? It had, yeah, River Vine Vine, River Vine Cavalli. It, it was something like a, uh, something like a ballad. Mm -hmm. Understand? That is the man that How I many know. notes? He had a four notes on the pan. Four notes. But were they specific notes or the scale or just four notes that he well, managed to... Well, at the to... time, it didn't have no scale. We know nothing about scale. Maybe we had it on scale, but we didn't really <laughs> study no scale at them time. You just had four notes. You just had four notes. <laughs> and you make a tune. You make a tune. Because after that, we after that, men started to beat a long lad. Mm -hmm. On pan also, you could have got a lot on three notes. Mm -hmm. This is the thing that I remember in pan. When that bugle come in the steel band, that was something else. Because when these when these when these men start, um, you know, QRC, they were, uh, QRC and um, that next school, they always have intercol. CIC. CIC. And all that, you'll hear the QRC. We want a goal. Mm -hmm. Well, these these buglers. To pick up that chant. You know, the band coming down sing. Well, you hear one up, one down, you hear like a heavy arrangement in the back. Mm. But this this is a music too. Now, we used to have a lot of fight in them days, so you know. <laughs> well, all kinds of things. Sometimes it's true, women, stuff. But this was a sort of rhythm at that time. If you study, let me, let me study a military band and see the instrument in a military band. The big drum, kettles, bugles. Now, that is to give the soldiers inspiration, you like when they're going to fight. Correct. That was we dance music, you know, so you could imagine when the band, la da da, la da da da. Well, that, that's why I find most of the time people used to be surprised in, 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 in the band. Somebody would cough down somebody, and when you look and you say, hey, but look at this, this boy's from decent family. That rhythm is human. The rhythm. The rhythm of the music. Yes. That reaching this Men who play in steel band really didn't need to cross fight. Well wishers used to cross fight. <laughs> now for instance you will go down the road, you and me Franklin. You will argue about a band, you will argue about a band. Or you might get high words or somebody might pet a lash. Well the talk come up. You might see Desperado, he might say Casablanca. You know a Desperado man and a Casablanca man fighting down the road. Well we stupid. The first Casablanca man or the first that's proud of man is riot. We are asking nothing. We retaliate him. We retaliate him. So it's well which as you see, you want study to play pan mm -hmm. and to cause riot. So the kind of weapons when you used to walk about with is more for protection then? Well you, you have to protect yourself. You can't you can't be a cowboy and leave your gun home. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? You what role did the bugle play in the steel band? Well the bugle was you used to play that with the rhythm section. You see, like, you're going down the road and you meet a band. You used to use that as the rhythm section to drown the next band. You have your buglers in the front blowing. Well, you always have your bugle blowing. Mm -hmm. You used to play the bugle? That was my section. I was in charge of that. <laughs> it only had one person that better than me in bugle. And he never played on the road. That was Conrad Jones. Mm -hmm. So that be, I becomes the best bugle on the road. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But beside the bugle, you also play the, the pan? Yeah, I also play second pan. The changes now, when arrangement come in with seconds and children, it, it come all refined. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we lost rhythm, but we gain in melody. Gain in sweetness. Yes. We, lo we lost rhythm, and the only, the only thing could have proved that point where I say is if we had some old films of all our yesterday. We'd have put on, we'd have put on a, a, a steel band in full swing coming down all time. We'd have put on one now, and we'd have be just looking at, at the, the kind of jump ups. You used to have. Yes. 
you see uh, different, you know, well, everybody lives here, but you see it's a different jumper because, like, the rhythm. Mm -hmm. So we lost, we lost rhythm, but um, it come more melodious. How did Taspo come about? Well, that was a band. Um, we really had a little going thing sometime at one and uh, uh, another, too, you know. And then um, you find, like, Lennox Pierre, Carl like Gallup, and a whole bunch of guys get together and they figure we're like, because all of we had keys. And since all of we had keys and things, they decide to do something, which I did get through, like, um, we went to the we went to the court and all they tell all of us plead guilty and since we plead guilty we was put on probation you know but then they, they said they had to organize a band you know to go and this band well just what they wanted one because to send a one band you know you have a lot of jealousy right oh god that 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 that, 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 well, that, that putting petrol in the like putting petrol in the fire itself so it was a very very nice selection to take one from each band and to take the one from each band to to and send them away Mm -hmm. I want you to relive that, you, that, that you, you event see, for me. You see why I'll tell you I don't went to leave because our they go to win. Patsy Orman Hines went. Ziggy Lee went. Davison went. These men is because of them for me. Mm -hmm. now, what was that day like for you? Could you tell us what it called? Well, was I, like? well I was real happy that Pan reached to that stage that they could, that could go away and develop themselves. How do you feel about where Pan has reached today? Well, boy, that, <clears throat> it's traveled a long way, you know, but I still greedy because I feel we could travel more because um, the players today you see, money. We used to play pan because we love pan. If, if you notice now, now, it used to have a little war and thing between steel band. A band from Woodbrook, and let me say, and a band from, let me say, like Casablanca. Let me do these two old bands because, like, um, when you see Invaders band, every man from that band is from Woodbrook. Mm -hmm. Every man you see in Casablanca is from on the hill. So you understand? So we used to play Pan for love. Are you fascinated by what Pan has become today? Yes, I have to be fascinated in it because I suffer through Pan for Pan to come out which part it is. So I must be fascinated by it. You see, we suffer for Pan. We real suffer. We go in them days. We had the thief Pan. It's police locking you up. It's police beating you. You get in lock up, man making jail, all that is for steel ban. So it does hurt me now, especially with Casablanca ban. To see I cannot stand up by the side and see Casablanca ban going on the road. To know the things that chupiness that I do. Because Casablanca ban opened me lemon black and thin under my mother house. Casablanca ban is a Gonzalez ban. Mm -hmm. Casablanca ban is not an Oxford ship ban. And to the strains of Casablanca playing Scrunters, the will, we welcome you back live to Calypso Showcase. Casablanca in 1982, a big year for them, the year they won the music festival and placed, uh, they won the North Zone in Panorama and placed second by a very, very close mar margin playing 
squanters their will. And I think Koki was bemoaning the point that they've never really won a panorama. It's a very hurtful thing for him. Fond memories, Koki? Fond memories of Casablanca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing that struck me about looking at the show, you all had no prior discussion, but yet a lot of things you said supported each other. How do you feel about listening to what he had to say and Koki listening to what Ziggly had to say? Well, that's very nice, because I mean, one thing that the viewers will, the viewers will get to see, well, uh, at least they're getting a clear point of view from two, di two different he know much about that side, as far as Gonzalez is concerned. He know a lot about that side. Well, you'll find me like a little bit of Alexander Rakhtimban and Heliad because that was my, you know. Mm -hmm. That was your But all mesh up because you could see like the one thing is the, how, how, how I know it and I explain it, how we know it and he explain it. You could see we, we're very, very close. Mm -hmm. We are, we are, well. Uh, nothing is perfect. We would differ a little time, but I mean that. I noticed he remembered also that it was the band Cats and Jammers that had the dodo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> because I don't know. If on the, yes, I said about the band. But yes. Well, he's my, you know, he's, uh, I, could, I could remember the, 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 the incident, but I couldn't remember the name. And there he comes in. He just said, well, it was Cats and Jammers. Well, he just showed you, you, see. Let me cut you quickly, as We have a call already from Port of Spain. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Producer. Yes, we're hearing you. Yes, I have to compliment you for the program this evening and for all this wonderful work that the men and former people of the Steel Band Movement did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's uh, an appreciative caller. Yeah. Um, one of the things that um, we didn't talk about was the role of the Shango in terms of what influence it had on the steel band movement. Would either of you like to talk about that? You want to go first, go ahead. I'll tell you how concerned in the shango. Because the first king drum ever come on the road is men from Casablanca, including myself, brought it. Mm -hmm. The name of the band was Hussein Jawela from Haiti. We came third. We get $90. On account, we didn't name the band. Um, dancers. It was the best ninety dollars we ever had. Because men get drunk, we had tea, breakfast, and dinner to eat. Everything. Because Sally Oliver was up there. Don't forget your trend. But we have a caller from Sangre Grande. We don't like to keep them waiting too long. Good evening, Sangre Grande. Good evening. Yes. Alvin. Good evening. Yes, we're hearing you. You know something? I like what you're carrying on the show. You know. Thank you. The man, it's shining, boy, oh, God. <laughs> hey, we're looking good, too. Congratulations to you all. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, OK. Yes, you're telling us about the shango. Yes. That was a, a year we um, aside. It. We didn't really pull out, but we decided to bring our trophy band. It was men like Anna Legard, Kenrick Sampson, Cecil. John Cross, I would die. Kubert. It was a good set of us. Mm -hmm. But what happened, we had given Casablanca men the band. That time, one man was the captain. We gave him $90, was to play for us, and he didn't play. Well, we decided to be the skin drum that we had. Mm -hmm. We had about 40 members in the band in mass clothes. When we hit Shamrock Band by Curry Street, and Observatory Street, we had the biggest band. Yeah. Let's, let's show the, the audience what the skin drum looked like with Andrew Beddo, the days of the thing, so mm -hmm. they can get an appreciation of what we're talking about. This is Andrew Beddo, and mm -hmm. these are the type of drums that were used in those early days in an Orisha um, setting. And um, what we're talking, therefore, is about the influence of these type of drums on the people who were involved in the steel man movement. Here's another, another drum again, the goat skin on either side. And these were the type of drums you were using? Yeah, we were shango drum, we shango drum. Ziggly, any involvement you had with it? Well, yes. Most, well, most of the time, they, I used to travel around. You know, anyway, you see it have shango, or it have it, it, bongo. You know, the, the Jeffrey Beto used to be the, with the bongo. Well, anyway, you see it have them kind of drum there, and you see, like, Jeffrey is, or shango. Well, I go in because, like, 
I was always fascinated with the drum. But the only thing he had that I really, you know, I really like was, you see, by um, Belgrave and Quarry Street. Mm -hmm. you, you know what he had there? Yeah. Well, that that become like my head because when I go on one side, all all all, all, the, all the guns tell you when I say bad thing and the woman ban me from the yard. The, 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 the <laughs> Let's talk to Baratario now. Good evening, Baratario. <laughs> Hello. Yes, we're hearing you. Um, I is one of a supporter of Casablanca and an old member by the name of Short Pants. Sure. I share the views about Koki and uh, Digili after Fed, and it has hurt my heart to see now Casablanca band going down the road with no kind of. Love at all in the band. The, the band that going good at all, and the, I don't know what to say about the band. I, but all what they're saying is true because I passed through. I steal pan from Junior Marvin, a cap fed a drum of oil and so on. And I keep the pan 2 o'clock in the morning, and Sergeant James and them run me down and hold me in. And I mean, I, I still have a great love for pan, you see. So these fellas are great fellas, sir. And I appreciate them for, for what they're doing on the TV now. Thank you. Dego Martin next. Good evening. Yeah, I would like to find out from these two gentlemen if they can tell me who was the gentleman in Bessel Street in the early days when the tankies were the prisoners going through Bessel Street up there to the quarry and that fellow beating the pan on the side. Uh, I don't know where he was from and also I would like to know who were the two captains in the Agatha Des together. The last question you have, yeah? um, Could you repeat the second question? Well, the color seats have gone, but uh, the first question, mm -hmm. any of you? We'll be short. Well, one thing, that guy short pants. We know him very well, very well, a, a good contribution because I think he, he did get locked up to you. Know? Yeah, but the question the gentleman asked, passing Bessel Street in the days, in the prisoner's days. I don't know about wrong there, but we still play pan around there. Yeah. All right, let's let's talk to Long Circular next. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we're hearing you. Okay, well, first I'd like to come to the two gentlemen on the memory. Seem like their memories can go really, really far back. The next thing, um, I'm wondering about uh, Winston Spree. Mm -hmm. If you all are going to discuss anything about this gentleman tonight. Well, we touched on Winston Spree, and um, I think what we established was that he was considered the person who played the first recognized melody, but I think both of our panelists tonight, and they can add something to it, established that melodies were played before by a lot of other people, whether recognized or not. I think this is what we are saying tonight, gentlemen. Definitely. You see, in those days when they play in pan, you had was to create, create melodies. Regardless, like uh, as the as the but this was like the the, the band tumbling, you got a pan with four, you got a pan with four notes, and very I can I could never remember that in a band if it have three guys playing ping pong, the three of them could play the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. It didn't need to work so all three of them you had to you had to create melodies. Mm -hmm. You see, when pan with scale and thing then. Two pans start playing the same thing, but at that time, because like, as I was giving the basic rhythm there, because like, give me a little water, please, to quench with us. I'll unload this gun for hire. Um, it had a lot more. But, you might, you, you yes, but, but in those days when pan was playing, you just sing to the rhythm of the pan. Whatever the plan, pan what, plays, what you, you follow. Play, you follow. Mm -hmm. So you, you just sing a melody that would splice in to what the pan playing. Mm. When for instance, like, so it sounds like pan playing used to sing Vivilla Company. Mm -hmm. You see that just blend with the pan. When do you remember someone actually playing a tune that you had known before? Well, River Vine Cavalier is, is a very old tune. Eh? I had known that before Fred Cobbin played. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, that was the first recognized melody heard, that you heard? That I heard. Well, 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 in Blanca, because I don't think I, I don't think I don't think I was in Blanca's yet, but I could remember Blanca walking, gypsy walking. Yeah, you remember? That also. But, that was, that. but that was well that was well well harmonized, you know, yeah. because like um, the governor tall tall. Oh, yeah. These these is these rhythm that um. The spirit, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I believe we have a caller holding on from Cookery. Good evening. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, well, I am a young fellow, right? I grew up here in that. Um, Winston Spree um, invented the silver, right? 
Now, from what I'm hearing now is a kind of transition, you know, but that they, I kind of confused now, now. So, I don't know if they are, the two guys they could have stress on that. Well, I don't know. Well, first, let's see this way. Now, Spree, he did contribute. He did contribute to the run. But he wasn't, he, was, he wasn't the first. Mm -mm. I think what is important to note is that a lot of people at the same time were working towards development. And I think Oscar Pyle put it the best the other mm. evening when mm. we were talking. No one person could lay claim no. to the invention no. of Pan. No. Everybody, that's why I tell you, well, he did, he, that's why I tell you, he did, he did con contribute. He did, he, he, did, he did contribute. Tobago is on the line. No. And we always <coughs> like to welcome Tobago. Good evening, Tobago. Yes, good evening. Hello. Yes, we're hearing you. Yes, I am, I want to speak to Mr. Ziggly. <laughs> yes, Mr. Ziggly. Yes. I find that you look so young and nice. Because I was a child, I was a child living in the oil field. And I could remember I went to a little christening and I sang a song like this. I want to know if you are the same person. <laughs> For the spin, nearly catch a fire when the steel band was crossing dry river. Ziggly. Pots and batters be they come <laughs> with a tuba and tuba. You are the same Zigili? That's right, man. Oh the same Zigili. <laughs> well, I was a little child. I am now 56 years old. And I was a little child and I went to this christening. And when I sang that song, the whole christening went off. Mm -hmm. Everybody started to play guitar. They come with a tuba. Mm -hmm. So you are the same Zigili? Yes. Well, Zigili, you look overnight. Well, well, what really happened to? I was young at that time because yes, when, every, yes. when, when everybody was hearing, well, when everybody was hearing about me, I was about at least about 16 yes. at the time. Yes. But then it still have people because right now I'm living in England and you have people sometimes when they hear that word Ziggly and the CB, they expect I was to be bent up something like a bugle, you know, with age and, you know, it's a lot of people get surprised, but you see, like, um, I'm in England, but I, I happen to be the same, the same one that, uh, the song that you're singing, that's me. <laughs> we have another Tobago call. Good evening. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little late on the, the program. I was wondering, um, the task force, was it mentioned that um, Dudley Smith from the Rising Sun Steel Band yeah. was on that team? Yes. yes. He was there. He yes. was on. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. He was playing cello with um, cello with Anthony Williams. Two of them was on cello. Mm -hmm. Where are some of these men now? Where, 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 where's, where's Fisher? Well, Fisher, well, I saw him today. Fisher, they go Martin. Uh -huh. I saw him today in, um, at Fido, Fido Blake's office. I saw him today. He, he's there about, I think, Dudley Smith. I, I think he's in the Bahamas. Dudley Smith. No, yes, Dudley Smith. 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 Tony Williams, well, he's, he's at home. Boots is in England. Yeah. England. Patsy um, dead. Patsy, well, he, he left us. They go to dead. They go to dead. Um, Art Pico to that is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Let's take a, a commercial break while you're thinking about some of the Tio, others. Tio when we come back, dead. more on the birth of Pan on Calypso Showcase. Welcome back to Calypso Showcase, where we are looking at the birth of Pan, and we have a caller from Guapo. Good evening. Hello? Yes. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Yes, we're hearing you there. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. I'm not hearing you. And uh, don't listen to the, the telephone, uh, to the television. Hello? Screen. Listen on the phone. Good evening. Go ahead, we're hearing you. I think we have lost that call. We have another caller from Arima, though. Good evening. Oh, we seem to have problems with either or both of calls. We'll, we'll see what's happening on that. Well, I want to take this opportunity of thanking the Ministry of Community Development, Culture, and Women's Affairs, who, in collaboration with Pan Trinbago, allowed us to film a lot of the artifacts that we used in tonight's pre-edited video in the exhibition Coming of Age, which is an exhibition of the evolution of PAN, the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. 
That exhibition is presently running at Milflu building on Queen's Park West and will be open until April the 3rd this year. It runs from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesday to Sunday, and the, the admission is free to all. Key persons involved, Ifibo Wilkinson, the director, thanks for allowing us to use your facilities. Mervyn Williams, the curator and ethnomusicologist. Merle Albino de Coto, who is the documentalist for this exercise, and Clifford Alfred, the technical advisor. And I can tell you it's well worth going out to Milflo and viewing that exhibition. Well, tell us about PAN today and where PAN is going. What, what, what are your thoughts? Well, <coughs> well PAN today um, is a national instrument. So Let's take a short break as we, we've, I think we've found the Guapo caller. Good evening. Hello? Hello? Yes, okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, we're hearing because you Because I'm not hearing you. Well, speak please. Oh, I, I, what I want to do, I want to congratulate these two gentlemen, especially named Ziggly. It's something that I knew from as a little boy. And all the comments and what he says about the steel band, I know about it, and they are true. Um, I don't know if they're familiarized with the name um, Coco Boys. That is a steel band down yeah, in Cochrane. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I could also go further and say that there was one of the most, I think, the first complete steel band they had in the biscuit drum, the carbide drum, the cement drum, and they also had a tracksman with them, and also a band master. They have won many prizes, the first prize. Um, in competition, and it's there where I get to know see Spree Simon. And he ain't about Spree Simon was the, the man who was responsible for this. I, 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 I was unhappy and I tried to get the fellas. I said, well, come forward, go and, and settle this right and give the rightful people. I don't know where they get the idea from. And I can't remember exactly which is around 42 or 40 somewhere in that vicinity. But the four note and the six note was the major thing. They didn't have no, no um, trumpet or bugle, but after Sweet Simon talked to them, I saw them out in bugle and the band. Um, so anyway, thank you all, and I hope that you all will be able to straighten out and let the people of Trinidad know who are really responsible for tuning out the steel band. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. You wanted to say something? The, the Coco Boy, Coco Boy that, that, is, that ends Southern Symphony, the, the, the roots. Yeah. But the what you said about what he said about um it did have no bugling band can speak speak about bugles. We had bugling band for around forty two, forty three. Forty two, forty three. Forty two. And you yourself played. How do you mean? <laughs> well let's talk to Digo next. Good evening. Good evening, Alvin. Yes, good evening. I want to congratulate you on a very good program. It's excellent. And um I would like to know when women started to meet bands. Yeah. Most interesting question. When did women start when playing women pan? Start, women <laughs> start, well, the first girl that I know played pan, that is around 43, that is Daisy James, and then Norma Calinda. Mm -hmm. These are the two people I know. What about uh, you? Females. The, the Daisy James, um, me and Pachai was on a pro Pachai said that he knew no more calendar. Uh, no well, calendar. But, but if he said you know but I didn't know, but if he said yeah. you know, you'll have to accept it. You've got, you yeah. know you know as well. Yes, I know but but I I know Daisy James. Daisy you know, James. James. And no more calendar. And really the true, first right. the first band or I think it was all uh, all, all Pat something all, the, the first girl steel band was Girl Pat. Girl Pat. Girl Pat. Girl Pat. <coughs> and again the, the fairest competition that I know ever judged in steel band up to this day. Is in Olympic Theatre, Daisy James and Dudley Smith. Mm -hmm. Joe Purdy is the man that judged that competition. He don't know who beat first and he don't know who beat last. But Daisy beat Dudley Smith that night. <laughs> well, you know how we have to come out. <laughs> <laughs> things, okay, things, gentlemen, things have, we things don't have much more time, yeah. but can I just ask you in a nutshell, where do you think Pan is going? Well, first, eh? the, the guys, they got to learn the music. Because take for instance, as a pan man, if you leave and you go to England and you have a little jingle going, you know, like a little commercial to do, that 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 guy was in charge. He's not going to come and tell you, you know what I want you to play? It's la la da da No, he's gonna put it on a piece of paper. 
I'm in good hand here because remember, you're a musician, it's an instrument, and you've got to know what's going on. So I would like to see all the youngsters and things at least learn <coughs> music on the paper, especially like if you're traveling, because abroad, if you go, if you go abroad and <coughs> they, they, they have a jingle, the guy, when he see the money that you get in, mm -hmm. to tell you that, 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 he wants something out of that. You know, you'll have to give him some of them. So if you know what's going on, now you, you prepare as you reach and they, in, in the studio. They tell you, they hand you this piece of paper. One time you have so, it's nice. Learn to, learn to read the music. Very be important. Right. Yeah, very what about you? Yes, I believe a steel band man have a right to learn to read music. But my opinion, the wonder of steel band is if 100 or 50 men playing part and everybody stop at the same time. To my opinion, I feel if you put a, re a music sheet and you play pan to that music sheet, it's not a steel band again. It's an orchestra. Hmm. So therefore, I believe the wonder of steel band gone because the wonder of steel band is musical hearing. It's an honor to see 50 men soloing and stopping and coming in at the same time without music in front of them. But I don't say they shouldn't know music. Right. But don't forget where you came from. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you very, very right much on, right on. for the contribution that you have made tonight. And I'm sure our viewers will agree that you have really shed some light on this burning question of the birth of Pan. Um, we want to remind you all that copies of Calypso Showcase are available. If you throw your mind back to the days when we started with people like Crow Crow, Watchman, Denise Plummer, David Rudder, all of these programs are available. You can call 628-8637 and inquire as to the range of programs that are available and uh, get your favorite Calypsonian or program on VHS. I also want to remind you that next week we'll be having as our special guest, Young King Kurt Allen. So join us next week on Calypso Showcase.